Hi everyone, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flipped Teacher Professional Learning video, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse image search. Now, what this is, is the opportunity to, rather than searching for an image by um, some kind of search term, you can actually put in the image that you have and it would give you information about that image. What you can do is in your URL type images.google.com and it will bring you to the Google image search. And rather than clicking in here and typing in your search terms, click on the image of the camera. You can either paste the URL of the image or you can click on the upload an image and choose something from your desktop. And what it will do is it will if you've chosen the upload image, it will actually search for that image based upon the metadata that's attached to it. So it's been able to tell me that this particular image is 367 by 244 pixels. And it's also found a range of other sizes for that particular image. It's also given me some visually similar images. So if you've got an image that um, you think is fantastic, but you can't use it because it's under copyright behind a paywall or something, it will give you visually similar images as well. It's a really useful tool and you do of course have other settings and some other tools to you know, help you refine that search a little bit as well and how recent that search is. But that's another option for searching by images. This is also good for your students uh, to learn about uh, digital citizenship, where, is it, where have images come from, uh, and also how to access um, different sized images rather than finding a very small image and stretching it uh, so that it gets all pixelated. Anyway, that's how you do a reverse image search. I hope that's been helpful. Don't forget for more FTPL videos, head to c21teaching.com.au. Thanks for watching.